So I am sitting here in Lenox Mall. Um, it's August the 1st and it's 2 something p.m. And um, I'm, I'm not allowed to upload videos right now. I uploaded so many videos. Um, YouTube has put a strange limit uploaded about 10 videos and they put a strange limit which is less than what I usually upload while I'm putting out the evidence to um, my case my pregnancy about what the blacks helped the whites do to my pregnancy in Atlanta as well so um, they, they're spying they're coming on next to me they're you know they're trying to stop me from putting out the evidence and oh, Jesus it is such wickedness what these people have done to me my nails are broken um, I had to wash my feet in the bathroom. Um, let me, sh I wanna, I, I wanna show y'all uh, something real quick, if I can show y'all. They left me starving outside, pregnant on a bench for three years. I've been washing with dirty tissues. Um, they're riding around speeding in cars with people of other ethnicities terrorizing me and my baby. They are smoking cigarettes, trying to come around and eavesdrop for the whites. And you know, it was just so wicked. And I was sitting right here, I ate a, a, um, a chicken sandwich from McDonald's for a dollar. I brought it here with me and I ate that already. And I'm not really hungry right now, but I was watching how some people was trying to like look at me like I was gonna try to grab their food if they left some food on the table. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I already ate a chicken sandwich, but the fact that you would be so wicked to be telling people to, oh, make sure you throw your food away, or don't give her no food, knowing that I'm pregnant and that me and my baby have been, um, that I've been carrying my baby for three years, okay? And his father is white. He's a Caucasian male. And so I was thinking about um, about God as I was watching the wickedness um, around me. And I was just sitting here and I was thinking, I was like, wow, these people are very evil. Um, the blacks, the black women, the black men, they are treacherously evil. Um, and the whites are wicked. And all of them in this city are corrupt. And so as I was sitting here watching it and I held, I put my hand right here on my belly. And I just felt this little baby just moving so, so vibrantly on my hand. And I was like, the nerve of these people to lie and then think they was going to kill the baby after God done already showed me the baby alive in my arms. And they was lying to me and telling me that I was not pregnant. And I was watching all these white women and Hispanic women and, you know, the ones with the white skin walking past like, oh, we got all the power. We done lied about her pregnancy. We got, we done lied and treated her as if we were the most powerful beings of all, cre of all time. And then the blacks, you know, they know that I'm pregnant. Um, the, the black men especially was making me angry. Um, and the black women, for real, because it's like, why would y'all sit over here and let these women lie about my pregnancy? And why would y'all try to help them hurt my baby? And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like, uh, I did start to cry a little bit. You know, I'm a very strong person, but I did not cry because of the oppression of what they are doing to me. I was crying because of how good God was to me and what, what God did to me. Okay, so... When I felt the baby hand moving and I started noticing, I was like, okay, God said we was in Egypt. And like, I always knew America was wicked since I was a little girl, but I didn't know why. And so when God told me and my son, Egypt, y'all are in Egypt, like I didn't really comprehend it all the way. And so when I'm walking around seeing the blacks being wicked with these whites, I'm like, okay, I, now I see what my God was saying. This is Egypt. It's not just America. It's not just America. It's what God said that it was, and it's Egypt. And yeah, it's America, but underneath it all, it's Egypt. And Egypt celebrated their color, their heritage. And then God told me in the jail cell, they had me in the jail cell in Montgomery County, Texas. I mean, Montgomery County, yeah, in Conroe, Texas. They had me in a jail cell lying about my pregnancy. 
saying that I was not pregnant, telling me I'm feeling a baby in me. They're telling me you're not pregnant, you're not pregnant. And I knew that I was. And at first I thought the baby died because I was bleeding. But, and there was a lot of blood, like a period. So I'm thinking I'm, my baby was dead because I missed my period and then it started back bleeding. And so they was in there telling me after I started feeling this baby still moving in me, like growing. I was like, oh, hold on, my baby's still alive. These white women, like, oh, no, it's not. It's dead. It's dead. Uh, um, you, you're not pregnant. You're not pregnant. And they know that I am. And I know that I am. And everybody in America knows that I'm pregnant. That's, that knows. You know what I'm saying? So God had said something to them when they had me back there. He was like, go back to Revelation and see what color God is. And the white woman was trying to say, like, my real hair is not. They was like, oh, your real hair got blonde in it. Like, trying to make me worship them. You know, trying to make me identify um, as something other than black. And so Jesus Christ and Jehovah was in the cell with me and went the, he went off on, he went the hell off. And he was like, um, he, I didn't know why he was yelling. I didn't know why he was angry. He was like, I'm not white. He would like go basically he would like go back to Revelation and see what color God is. I didn't understand why he said that. Then he let Satan come to me after that. I'm not talking about just white people, no, I'm talking about the real deal, Satan. And he was in my cell. And Jesus and Jehovah called him Satan and told him to get away from me and he was white. So now I understand why Jehovah said and why Jesus Christ said that he was not white. And then, I mean, that he was of color. And then in the Bible, um, he, he, he told what color he was. And he said, for men, like the black men in America, he said that they have his image. He said, having the image and having the appearance of God, but denying his power. They over here denying God's power by trying to help these whites, these Satanists, kill my baby. When God said that the baby not going to die, they denying his power. They made in his image, but denying his power bowing down to the white man and you made in the image of God. How you gonna do that to us? So I started to cry, like not a lot, you know, cause I, like, I felt the tears welling up in my eyes because um, God called me queen. After they did this to me, he renamed me. He said, your new name is Queen Andrea Antoinette Jones. And then so I was like, oh, like, wow, God renamed me and he named me queen. And then I thought about all the black men walking around me that didn't stand up for me and that's refusing to stand up for me. And they know that I'm pregnant and they over here helping, trying to cover up my pregnancy and done tried to kill it and steal it. And so I was like, Queen Andre Antoinette Jones. And then I thought about it, I said, and I started to cry. I said, because the king stood up for me and he is not white and he stood up for me. And that's, that means something. You know what I'm saying? It means a lot um, when the king, uh, who is more powerful than the whites, he's more powerful than the Egyptians, he's more powerful than Satan, he stood up for me. While I'm watching all of them run around like they don't know what's going on. And I just felt like I needed to deliver that message. I still need to work on my evidence and put out the rest of the evidence of what they did to my pregnancy in Atlanta. Um, oh, and that's what they, they trying to stop me from doing um, on my other YouTube channel, Queen Andrea Antoinette Jones channel. I have not uploaded that many videos for them to be telling me I cannot upload the rest of the evidence. I was right at Atlanta, so I'm going to have to upload the videos onto a couple of my other channels and create a playlist um, and just pray to my God. But I ain't going to lie, y'all, this little baby is doing well. <laughs> and it's amazing I'm scared because I've been carrying my baby for three years and Jehovah in the cell we stopped moving I fell out on the floor well I passed out on the floor and the baby wasn't moving in me and when I got up I had purple veins all in my skin like I was dead and Jehovah went over my body and started praying like this and my skin went back to brown and then he went to my womb and prayed over it in like Hebrew and then it started moving like that again. So I don't know if they killed us. I don't know what they did to us for him to have to pray over us and make and bring life, like that color back into my skin and make my womb start moving again. 
but I know he the reason why my baby's still alive and I've been carrying this child for three years. And he showed me that the baby not gonna die, that the skin gonna be a little bit irritated because it's been in there too long, and that it's, my, and it's gonna need an incubator for a little while. But then he showed the baby coming home with me just fine. So I'm, I'm, I'm scared of these people that are trying to stop his glory, you know, because they hate Jehovah. They hate Jesus because he's not white. And they don't want people knowing that the real God <laughs> is not white. You know what I'm saying? So I know and I'm scared of what all they're going to try to do to this child before we can make it out the city. But I'm going to just go ahead and... Um, I'ma just sit here and trust him because he's been protecting us. Um, they did try to murder me last night. <laughs> they did, you know, um, and they had a black man trying to help. They had three black men trying to help them do it. And um, I just, God just kept telling me to move around from them. You know, don't let them get too close to me and the baby. And um, I kept trying to move around from them. Um, but let me load this video and I need to let my phone charge. I gotta be quiet um, because everybody knows what's going on. This is very serious stuff to be talking about even in the midst of um, this mall. Um, it's children inside of this place. Um, it's very powerful, powerful people inside this place. And um, it's just not the type of conversation that, that would seem to be fit. For this kind of environment but this is what's going on in this mall uh, people know that i'm pregnant here and they know this is the only place where i can really charge my phone and be able to sit down so um i'm gonna keep praying in the spirit i'm gonna load this video and i gotta charge my phone and pray that um jehovah and jesus christ can get me and this baby out of atlanta georgia alive because atlanta is the place where um they sodomizing the black men the, a lot um, I didn't know better when I saw them uh, at, at acting gay, I mean homosexual, but um, the God said that it's spiritually Sodom in Egypt. And so that not only are they sodomizing the black men, but they causing them to do wickedness against the Most High and the children of the Most High. So that's why I'm so afraid. And um, I prayed over some of these black men um, yesterday that they would start walking in the power of God and, and stop serving uh, these, these devils the way that they are to hurt us. Because I'm, I'm vulnerable, I'm a female. You know what I'm saying? I'm a female. I don't need to be trying to fight black men. And they got me trying to stand up to, my, stand up to black men for myself and my baby. And that's very dangerous. Um, and the black women, they know what's going on, but we in Egypt. So I can't expect them to really do much, you know, like they, 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 the oppressed. They, they coming up in ways that they ain't never seen themselves come up before and they selling me out, you know what I'm saying? So um, let me just pray to God because the blacks is not really the ones with all the power in this city anyway. So um, I'ma just load this video, I'ma pray to my God. I'm going to keep enjoying feeling this little baby moving because it's moving real good. Um, like when I was in uh, Luther Landing Apartments with a man named Marcus Mitchell, the baby was moving good, but the baby felt like it done grew even though they tried to starve me. Um, the way the baby is moving, it feels like it's moving kind of similar to how Melby was moving, like, you know, healthy, like, can survive. Um, and they're trying to get me to smoke cigarettes. They got people smoking cigarettes on every corner, blowing smoke in my face, trying to get me to, I think, make the baby be a stillborn or something. But it's moving very good. So um, I wish I could film everything that's been going on, but I can't. Um, all, I, all I could tell you is that um, I was just sitting here thinking about the king, you know what I'm saying, thinking about the king, um, because we, we haven't really been taught about the king enough because when he came up in that cell when they was back there doing that to me and this baby 
I never knew about the king. Nobody never taught me about the king. All they taught us about was white people is better than you, white women is better than you, Chinese women is better than you, uh, Hispanic women is better than y'all. Y'all need to try to look like us. Y'all need to try to act like us. Y'all need to try to get as much money as y'all can get. But when the king came up into the cell and he showed me how beautiful I was as a black woman, it's, it's very serious when they trying to tear me down now because I know the truth that we not um, we not ugly, you know what I'm saying? We not uh, the least um, of all people, you know. If anything, we probably the most special of all people, and um, they hate me because I know that now. And um, I'm not, one white man said he was going to make me a Satanist if it was the last thing that he did, meaning that he going to try to have them persecute me so bad until I start hating myself as a black woman and trying to be like a white woman. And I can be inspired by any race of women, but I cannot hate my own heritage and then try to be like you.